Welcome back to Grip News 2M, your source for the latest updates in the world of golf. Today, we have some truly remarkable news to share with you. The PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and the Public Investment Fund, PIF, have come together in a groundbreaking agreement that aims to revolutionize the game of golf on a global scale. Let's dive into the details of this historic partnership. In a significant announcement made today in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and the Public Investment Fund, PIF, have officially signed an agreement to unify and elevate the game of golf. This agreement brings together PIF's golf-related commercial businesses and rights, including Live Golf, with the PGA Tour and DP World Tour's commercial businesses and rights, creating a new, jointly owned, for-profit entity. The primary objective is to ensure that all stakeholders benefit from an exciting and highly competitive environment that showcases the best players in the game. To facilitate the growth and success of this new entity, PIF will make a significant capital investment. The yet-to-be-named organization will implement a comprehensive plan to expand its combined commercial businesses, enhance fan engagement, and accelerate ongoing growth initiatives. With the success of Live Golf's groundbreaking second season, the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and PIF will collaborate to further promote and develop team golf in the future. One crucial aspect of today's announcement is the resolution of all pending litigation between the parties involved. This mutual agreement to end litigation sets the stage for a cooperative and transparent process. The three organizations will work together in good faith to establish fair and objective guidelines for players who wish to reapply for membership with the PGA Tour or the DP World Tour after the conclusion of the 2023 season. These guidelines will be consistent with the policies of each respective tour. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan expressed his excitement about this transformative partnership, stating, After two years of disruption and distraction, this is a historic day for the game we all know and love. This transformational partnership recognizes the immeasurable strength of the PGA Tour's history, legacy, and pro-competitive model and combines it with the DP World Tour and Live, including the Team Golf concept, to create an organization that will benefit golf's players, commercial and charitable partners, and fans. We are committed to securing and driving the game's future. PIF Governor Yasir al Rumoin shared his enthusiasm, stating, Today is a very exciting day for this special game and the people it touches around the world. We are proud to partner with the PGA Tour to leverage PIF's unparalleled success and bring innovation and global best practices to golf. We are committed to unifying, promoting, and growing the game worldwide while maintaining its storied history and tradition. This partnership represents the best opportunity to extend and increase the impact of golf for all. Under the terms of the agreement, a board of directors will be established to oversee and direct all golf-related commercial operations, businesses, and investments of the new entity. This board will ensure a cohesive schedule of events that excites fans, sponsors, and all stakeholders. Initially, PIF will be the exclusive investor in the new entity, alongside the PGA Tour, Live Golf, and the DP World Tour. Additionally, PIF will have the exclusive right to further invest in the new entity, including a right of first refusal on any capital that may be invested in the PGA Tour, Live Golf, and DP World Tour. The PGA Tour will hold a majority voting interest and appoint a majority of the board members in the combined entity. It's important to note that PGA Tour Incorporated will remain a 501c, 6, tax-exempt organization, retaining administrative oversight of events contributed by PGA Tour. This includes event sanctioning, competition administration, rules, and other responsibilities. Jay Monahan will continue as the commissioner, and Ed Hurley will serve as the PGA Tour Policy Board. <laughs>